Hello, hi everyone. Welcome to my channel. Uh, so in this video, I'm going to show you how to create a conditional access policies to restrict a user configuring their mailbox on an AT email client and enforce them to use only Outlook as their approved client on a device which is not managed using Intune. So let's go to the devices section over here. You can see conditional access policies under policy tab. Select conditional access policies. Under that you can see policies over here. Tap on new policy to create a new policy. Provide a name which is relevant to your requirement. For an example, in this case, I'm going to mention this policy as restrict users configuring exchange mail box on native client I select all users and excluded a glass break account just in case that uh, to make sure I'm not getting logged out and I have one account that I can still sign in to the admin portal and select the cloud apps exchange online from here exchange online for the conditions over here i'll select this uh, specifically to two devices platform which is android and ios and i go to the access control to define what kind of whether it should be granted or block so I select grant access here and select these two options. One is required approved client app. That means the particular app should be approved. But, and the other one is uh, the particular app should be part of app protection policy. So we have already created an app protection policy defining Microsoft Outlook app as part of uh, the app and app protection policy and which is an approved client. You can see the list of approved client apps once you tap over here. I'm not going to deep dive into this, so this purpose of this video is to show you how to create this conditional access policy, right? And I select record all the selected controls and select. By default, all the conditional access policy will be under report only. So you can tap this to on and once you create, the conditional access policy will get created. You can see the policy got created successfully. You can see the policy state on and the time when it got created and now we will go and see how this is going to uh, affect on an end user device when the user tries to sign in uh, with their account on a native email client uh, what is going to happen and how it's uh, being working on an outlook client which is an approved one like uh, when a user tries to configure their email on Samsung device or any of the Android device using their native email client, how the conditional access policy will actually block that and how they can configure an email on the approved client, which is Outlook. So let's see uh, an example by opening the Outlook and we'll try to configure the account here. So I tap to add an account. Allow this cloudtechspace.com continue this will ask me to provide the passcode for this and this will take me through the multi-factor authentication as well Once the multi-factor authentication gets completed, it will ask me to install company portal. As I explained in one of my blog, company portal is required for registering this particular device with Azure AD. So I'll tap on get the app. It will ask me to install Intune company portal. It doesn't mean that you have to enroll the device. You just need the application download and kept in your device. So this is the broker app, which allows this device to get registered with Azure AD and communicates with the policies which are being enforced for this particular application from Azure AD. This will take a couple of minutes for the installation to get completed. Let's wait for it to. Once 
Once the installation is over, we will go back to the configuration page. So the installation is over. We come back here to Outlook app, add the account, and then take this, continue. Yeah. It will take me through the same process to validate that the particular broker app is installed now. Now, the device is asking to get registered. This is what happens when you are trying to use an application under app protection policy. With the help of company portal, the device will get registered to Azure AD register. Now the device is getting registered in Azure AD so that the device can get the policies and app protection policies from, in, from Azure AD, the conditional access policies. All the policies related to this app can be fetched to this device using this. You can see, now the outlook is getting configured and once it's configured it will deploy all the policies uh, which are being configured in app protection policy for an example if you have configured a six digit pin code or eight digit pin code it will be enforced to this <coughs> so you can see the authentication is in process it will ask for adding in another account we'll skip for that now by pressing maybe later now you can see get access your organization protects data in this app so right now this particular application fetch all the policies from Azure you ready to identify uh, the app protection policies deployed using Intune to this particular application and the conditional access policies as well so this allows to create a pin I just created a pin and the email got configured you can see on the settings here the email is configured now so if you go here you can see it's configured now let's try to configure the same email address on samsung native client this is to identify that actually our conditional access policy is working or not i go to office 365 select the email address you can see there is an error you can't get there from here that means you cannot configure an exchange mailbox in this particular application this is because we are trying to open this resource with a client app that is not available for use with an app protection policy which tells that this particular application is not under app protection policy this defines that the conditional access which we have created is working as expected so thanks for that. Uh, so this is how we are going to block users configuring their Exchange email or Office 365 mailbox on an un unenrolled or like unmanaged device and only allowing the user to configure this in a app which is approved and under app protection policy.